Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a hot key that anybody can do and kind of teach you how to make a hot key. I've got some boxes, and I'm going to go up to Tools and Options and Customization and click on Commands and search right here, Size, S-I-Z-E, and get, there's two, There's well, there's three, but you don't want to use this one. You don't want to use this one right here. And when you click on it, it'll say, uh, the difference like this is, well, let's go to general. General is under crop. You need this one right here, object size. Set the height and the width of an object. So with that one, go to your shortcut keys, and we're going to assign it a shortcut key. Any key on the keyboard will work. Let's try just the plus sign or the equal. Let's do the equal sign because you don't have to put a cap and just assign it, and then say OK. So when I do this, instead of normally going up here and making this box, so moving my cursor up here, I can hit just the equal sign, and it'll come up with this box, and then I can go five or five by five, and it made a five by five box. Click on that one, hit the equal sign. Let's make this one 10 by 10. Hit that box, hit the equal sign, make it 15 by 15. And you can change it that fast. It's not that big a deal, but it does teach you how to do a uh, shortcut key. And that shortcut of key stay there till you get rid of it, but just go to tools and save, save as default and just make sure you've got everything else. Like I'm using somebody else's program and that might be what I want. No, but I want a drawing hairline, so I want to change all of that. Check my rulers are at zero, zero, so everything is good. So now I can save that as default. Go to tools, save as default. Then have all these checked, and then anytime you want to change that box, just hit the equal sign. Or make it any key you want that's not being used, or even if it's being used by something you never use, you can just kind of overwrite it. Now, for this to work equally, you need your ratio unlocked. Because uh, if you if you have this locked, and we hit the equal sign, and we make it 15, it's going to change it by 15 by 15 because the, the lock is locked. So if you're going to use all the time the same, you know, if they're, if they're perfect squares, let's just hit the equal sign, and let's just, that way you only have to type in one if you just want to make it two by two. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.